plaintiff, Precious Johnson, and her boyfriend, Wayne Smalling, say Precious paid the defendant to paint her car. But instead of doing the job properly, he was more interested in dating her. She's suing for a refund because he did such a poor job painting her vehicle. Defendant Andre Florence insists he gave Precious a great deal when she came to his body shop. And after he worked on her car, she started badmouthing him online. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Okay, well, first I would like to say thank you for having me. I am a big fan. Thank you. I respect everything you do. I respect your point of views on a lot of things. Thank you for having me. Um, don't praise me too much, you. Man <laughs> standing there. He, yeah. These men are haters on me. <laughs> okay, oh, <yeah. laughs> so back in April 2000. He ain't from no street. Uh oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, Your Honor. So back in April 2021, I was looking to get my car painted and I found the defendant on Instagram. His work looked amazing, so I reached out to him. Um, he gave me a quote. However, I felt like the defendant was more trying to get with me than do a good job on my car. And the agreement for payment? It was $1,000. And what did you give him? Um, I I gave him the money. The whole amount? 100%? You don't ever get no, your well, car I, fixed. I know, Judge. <laughs> you know, well, I gave him stuff. half and half. I gave him the 500 up front and then the 500 hundred after the fact. Oh, well, then that's what I'm asking. After what fact? After oh, after finished? I got the, yes, after I got you the car fixed. looked at it. Why would you give him the money and you looked at it and didn't like it? Well, I was afraid I was by myself. Um, it was a it was a lot of guys there okay. when I no. when I looked at the car, I was just a little intimidated. Right, and wanted, right. And then feel like arguing all these men and Absolutely. All right, got it. And so how long after that did you say something? Um, well, I said something immediately when I when I got the car, I took the car there on April 2nd. I didn't get the car back until April 13th. He quoted me four days to get to receive the car back. And it was actually over 10 days that I got the car back. Um, once I was there, I think everybody could tell by my facial expression that I was not happy with the job. The car was ab absolutely dripping in Let me uh, get to some of his background on the situation, okay. and then we'll get to the specific things you didn't like. Yes, okay. sir. What do you want to Okay. Uh, me and uh, Miss Precious, uh, she found me through uh, Instagram like she stated. We agreed on a price for the job. Of one thousand um, dollars. Yeah, of one thousand dollars. When were you supposed to return the vehicle? Uh, we, I didn't actually put a date on it. You didn't give her an estimate of the number. Of no, I, I told her it'd probably take any. Do I ever do business with anyone who won't give you an estimate of the date that they're going to return your car? Yes, I. All right, go ahead. But uh, you know, for perfection, sometimes with my work, it takes time, so mm -hmm. I don't rush it. That's why I accommodated her mm -hmm. with a newer vehicle to yeah, drive. You, gotta, as, you should be able to project right. uh, as a perfectionist. You should be able to say, I'm going to make this perfect in two weeks, ma'am. Yeah, but it was just so many spots and damages on there. All right, go ahead, sir. Yeah, I'm not going to debate yeah, with you whether you right. should give your clients an estimate <laughs> of the time frame. Go ahead. Yeah, so uh, I really... Uh, underbid myself pretty much because it was just more work. I had to put in HID lights, had to fix rust spots, um, had to install a bumper, and it is still a foreign vehicle. So anyway, to make a long story short. You had big problems in doing the work that you had to do. Got it? So, Good to um, know. I started doing the work. I finally got it done. I gave her the car back. Um, now, after you paint a car, I don't know if anybody else had a car painted before, you do have to let it cure internally. And I had a small blemish on there that I stated to her when she picked up the vehicle. Um, but she was kind of irate that day or whatever, but I told her come About back. About what? Uh, I had a paint run. A what? A run in the paint. Mm -hmm. um, 
She was irate about the condition of her car. Yeah, and, and I had other, repair. Yeah, and I had other customers there inquiring to do some work. It was just like a dramatic experience for my customers. Had she given you the five hundred the uh, second half yeah, by that she, time? Yeah, she paid me when she picked up her vehicle. Uh, and she, before and getting her. irate. Yeah, before getting out, Ray, I informed her to come back in a few days and I fixed the small little imperfections. But um, during that whole process of her waiting to come back in a few days, um, I had posted some work. And while I posted the work, she was just like, just making me look bad. I posted got a, what work? Uh, the work I did on her vehicle. I I gave him the money. The whole amount? A hundred percent? You don't give no, well, I, I know, Judge. <laughs> you know, well, I gave him front. half and half. I gave him the five hundred up front and then the five hundred hundred after the fact. Oh well then that's what I'm asking. After what fact? After oh, after I got the yes, after I got you the looked perfect. at it. Why would you give him the money and you looked at it and didn't like it? Plaintiff Precious Johnson and her boyfriend Wayne Smalling say Precious paid the defendant to paint her car. But instead of doing the job properly, he was more interested in dating her. You did it wrong. That's hearsay, but I even got it. It's hearsay out your mouth. What are you talking about? All right, you're the one who said I had so many problems. It had a run on it. It had this. I told her to come back and get it. And you're talking about his hearsay. Go ahead, if ma'am. I don't know anything about perfection. It was more like practicing, Your Honor. This man messed up my vehicle so much. I get the car back. I was not irate. Like he said, there were other customers there. So I was being mindful of other people. I didn't want him to look bad, but it was evident that I was upset. As I'm driving home, Your Honor, I could smell a little odor in the car that was unfamiliar to me. I thought it was outside. I crank up the AC, rolled up the windows, went home. By the time we got into the car the next day, it smelled like a demon or a bad spirit was released. <laughs> Your Honor, it smelled like vomit and it smelled like baby diapers were left in the vehicle. Um, so we jumped out the car immediately to kind of like investigate the car further. Judge Mathis, there was chips in my back car. The door to the trunk was open in the back seat. And then I also found out, which I have evidence of, he didn't completely paint the car. So to me and my understanding and what we looked at, um, he kind of spot painted. He kind of picked and chose what he wanted to paint on the vehicle. Um, I have you, I have evidence for you where it shows that he didn't paint the two windows. There was a gap in the bumper. And um, oh I took goodness. it to a- It's on page one. The, the paint, I ain't never seen nothing like this. <laughs> it's dripping in not the a good way, Your Honor. It's dripping dried up drip. <laughs> it's dried up drip. It's it it like this. That ain't good What's drip, on page Your Honor. two? I can't quite see that. It's still a little more a drip. A little chip near the tire? Mm-hmm. Behind the tire? Yes, sir. And what's page three? That's like the opening into the trunk there. It, that that was what's evident. Page, uh, uh, what that's evidence of what? To me, that was evident that some that he was probably joyriding in my car. Okay. It doesn't even feel the same. I, page four. What are you showing me here? Page four is the chips that was left in the oh, back. I don't have any ahead. chips. What else? What else? Okay. You about looking. Don't bring me a picture of some chips. <laughs> <laughs> I even hurt because yourself with the It's inside. only it's only and myself. You gonna complain about chips? Where's all the other stuff you said? Um, you. You, ha you should it have video. You, oh well, I can't. I can't record the smell, and you should be happy no, that you, have you can't pitch? smell Did it. Did you find what the smell was from? No, I thought he sabotaged me because I wouldn't date okay, him. So you saw potato chips, and that's all. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. And what do you see on page five? Um, page five is just a gap of the bump that he didn't properly fix. He said that's the best that I could do. I said, well, why didn't you call me so that we man could? Man, ain't told you that. That is. He said, I thought I did a great job. It's the best I could do. So what happened to him uh, repairing or giving him another chance to finish it, bringing it back? Well, after I blew his phone up several times inquiring about the smell, the She's chips lying. and the door missing, um, 
he didn't answer the phone. So I left him a text and he immediately called me back. He stated that the guys at his shop left some garbage in the shop overnight while my doors were open and the uh, paint was drying. Um, at that point, I was so emotionally distraught and just jacked up in the head about my vehicle. I sought out a professional to give me their expertise and move forward with getting Did they the, repair it? Um, well, I didn't have the money to get the bumper done. That was going to be an additional $300 plus, um, plus uh, labor fees and things like that. Uh, first thing first, I got the car detailed, Your Honor, and the smell still they got the chips up. out. Huh? They got the chips out. <laughs> they got the chips you want $177 out. $177 for But it. they I didn't get the smell All out. Right. Go ahead. I saged it too, Your Honor, and it still didn't come All out. All right. The garbage you talked about, he said they had removed it. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead. All right, Your Honor. I done listened to a, enough lies today and bashing with my work. Now, uh, on page one here, I got a picture of it before and after. Now, she brought me a bumper that was hanging off on the vehicle. The bumper that I put on, it wasn't certi certified. So it's an aftermarket bumper, so it might have some imperfections on fitting. But after I posted... Uh, Brought the, the wrong bumper. What else? After I posted the picture... Uh, I don't know, she was just kind of like bashing me online, saying things like taking- No, let's talk about the other problems, the flaws. The what, the work. runs, the runs? Yeah, yeah that, the flaw. You got more than one flaw. So no, it's just not the runs, but it's she, other things. If, if you tell several somebody things. To, if you tell somebody to come- The perfectionist work, if you, tell, if you tell somebody to come on a certain date and they don't come, whose fault is it? I'm really You admitted just, that you were ran uh, several days late. But hold on. So what do you mean? She, if somebody but I told her to bring back? it back in a few days to come. But if she didn't come, how can I finish the work? And after you paint something, you do have to give it a few days to cure. So if she didn't come back, how could I fix something that I wanted to correct? And for real, a paint run and, uh, you know, the cart not being buffed out, those are two minor things. But she didn't come. But... I you didn't also, see him when you before you gave her before you took her other money. You didn't see her before you took her five hundred. But I explained to her I even five hundred. But I even wrote on the perfectionist. Uh, perfectionists look at their work before they give it back. But that's why I even particularly gotta, before you take somebody's second money. But I even wrote down on the uh, receipt. You know, pay. Tell the garbage her. had been in the car. No, that man, it's just a lot of I'm lies. I'm not your I man. I'm your judge. What? Mm -hmm. I can't keep uh, rebuttaling every okay, story that enough. she's making. Okay, good enough. You don't want to rebut it. Oh well, I can't. I can't record the smell, and you should be happy no, that you, have you a can't picture. smell Did it. Did you find what the smell was from? No, I thought he sabotaged me because I wouldn't date okay, him. So you saw potato chips, and that's all. Plaintiff Precious Johnson and her boyfriend Wayne Smalling say Precious paid the defendant to paint her car, but instead of doing the job properly, he was more interested in dating her. You have any texts you want uh, to show me? Um, I don't have any texts in my, you have any within text my you evidence. You want to show me, sir? Uh, yeah, I do, man. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Page yeah, six. Say not to call me, man. No, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm honor. not your I'm man. Just Are you out of date? No, I'm just. You on pills? No, no, I'm just. I'm just I don't like it. You on pills or something? No. You sound very incoherent well, today. I apologize. You're talking double talking. You're talking things that don't make sense. You. So I'm going to grant your judgment. You are totally, totally unprepared for this case. Perhaps you have thing? no defense. Can I? Or you have can't a... say another word. You said enough. Thank you. I made up my mind. Once I make up my mind, ain't nothing else to say. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank you, Your Honor. Hey, you're you're just a little deceiving and conniving and I just think that you should do a uh, better business moving on into the future uh, you seem like you had a great personality at first but when it comes to business you need to handle business first and put your perfectionalism um, to the side and worry about your professionalism well I'm gonna just say one thing um, if you have appointments make it and I got one more thing to say today a kind artist won 